Hey guys, welcome back to Philly Committed Kitchen. Today we are going to do mini pizza bites. Now, obviously dairy free, but we're gonna do half um, like a cheese pizza and then we're gonna do half like a barbecue chicken pizza. Um, we are going to use this crust that I found that I'm really happy with. It's engine two clam strong. Stone baked pizza crust, 100% whole wheat. It only has whole wheat flour, distilled white vinegar, yeast, dehydrated maple syrup, and salt. I'm so happy with these ingredients. Um, so here's how we're gonna do it. This is great for like game day, obviously. Such a football ball. So we're gonna take the pizza. Alina, can you hand me a um, pizza cutter, a pizza tray? One second, people. Just got to uh, grab something. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take, usually you would use a cookie cutter, a round cookie to cutter, but I don't have round cookie cutter, so we're just going to use a measuring cup um, because it's the right size. And Alina's probably going to tell me I'm doing this wrong. But um, you can go around like so. Just about to get. What are you doing? It's not the way she wants me to. <laughs> yeah, she's laughing at me. You can go around like that in a circle, and then I just poke them out. That's not how you want me to do it. Just so you know, everything that goes on in this house, I do it the wrong way. Alina says. So, welcome to our world. Anyway, you're just gonna, again, you can use a cookie cutter, but you're gonna cut them into these little rounds. I'm gonna cut all these quickly and show you what it looks like. Okay guys, we are back. All my little circles are perfectly cut. Thanks to Alina's help. Um, and I'm gonna show you what we do. I'm gonna do three one way, three the other. It's super easy. I'm gonna use um, this great barbecue sauce that I found that has no cane sugar, because obviously you know me, I don't fuck around with cane sugar. Bone sucking sauce, ooh, dirty. Okay, take your spoon, I'm gonna do three one way, like I said. Just spread my sauce around. Um, I secretly love, I love any sauce, like I'm a big dipping sauce girl, like, you know, give me french fries and I want like five sauces. I want like a honey mustard, barbecue, I want the works, you know. I'm gonna take some red onion that I just nicely chopped and just stick those on there. You can obviously top these however you want, but I think if you're gonna do like a little party quick and you're making like a bunch of different hors d'oeuvres, um, your snack foods, whatever you wanna call them, um, this is the easiest way to give variety by making a barbecue and a plane. So literally just have a rotisserie chicken that I shredded, literally just took one chicken and I've now used it. This will be my second recipe, okay? Put a little of that shredded chicken on there. Um, I know what everyone's thinking, that California pizza kitchen barbecue chicken pizza that used to happen. I mean, I'm not going to say what I want to say because everyone's going to hound me, but that's a real fat girl pizza. Real fat girl pizza. And guess what? I loved it. So this is a variation of that. Um, then we're going to take our tomato sauce. I use Rayo's, as you know, because the ingredients are the cleanest. One second. I need to get a smaller spoon. Um, I'm going to come to this side, layer up on my tomato sauce. You can obviously do like pepperoni, Hawaiian, whatever you want. I mean, we're just doing it like this today, but you can really get creative. If you want some more onion on there, you can. I'm just gonna do classic. I'm gonna use Viola Life mozzarella because um, even though, I don't know, we're always dairy free. Even like when boys come over and they eat meat and I make a meat dish for them, I say boys like it means plural. I just mean when a guy comes over and my guy comes over and brings his friends, this is what we would do. Sounded crazy the way I said that. Um, anyway, back to my pizzas. I always do dairy free no matter what because it's just the best way. And now there's so many good cheeses. The viola life is my favorite. Don't forget to put that on the um, Barnaby's right here waiting for me to drop something. 
Don't forget to also put on the barbecue ones. Then obviously we know color, color, color. Get back to my fresh basil. I'm just gonna roughly chop some. I'm gonna put some on before and I'm gonna put some on after because I, you just need that. You need that color. Even if it's just a little, okay? Not cute when things don't have variations of color, okay? So these are gonna go into the oven. My phone's going crazy, it's texting me, bro. Um, a little pink salt, a little pepper. It's Playboy calling, they wouldn't need audition. Anyway, these are about to go into the oven. Um, show you what they look like and show you what they look like after. See you in a few. Guys, welcome back to Blake Minute Kitchen. We are finishing up our pizza recipe. It was just in the oven. The temperature and all that stuff will be on the below. Here's my little mini pizzas that just came out of the oven. I am just gonna quickly throw them on this. Um, I like to use a little um, board because it just like looks cuter. Let me just see here how I wanna lay them. It's like a game. Um, there we go. So, then I just did a little fresh basil, which I'm gonna add on top. A little color, I'm all about the freshness. Okay. And there you have it. Like, is that not easy or what? Thanks guys, hope you enjoy.